we did see that Sting uh, congratulated Darby Allen for uh, retaining his title. Then Team Taz Dude, cut a sucks. promo. And then I think we're going to get a cinematic match of a street fight so that we can get around the limitations of Sting, which is fine. This is this is the point that I was going to make, though, and this goes back to the inner circle. To your point, okay, now we've identified, for whatever reason, Chris Jericho and MJF are going to be a tag team, so they're going to go up the tag team ranks, right? Well, Darby Allen is your TNT champion. I'm exhausted from his feud with Team Taz. I don't mind if we come back to this this time next year and we have this, like, Tommy Dreamer Raven type thing, but even Tommy Dreamer and Raven fought other guys and then would come back to each other. We can do that. But where I was going to go with this is now we've got the tag team for the inner circle. Well, now Sammy Guevara needs to do something. Wouldn't it be fucking cool if you went after the TNT championship and we had Sammy Guevara versus Darby Allen. And then why not throw in jungle boy, Jack Perry. There you go. A triple threat for the TNT championship. You got Jungle Boy Jack Perry, Darby Allen as champion, and Sammy Guevara with Jake Hager in his corner. Right there. That could work. That could work. Uh, that was the other thing I was going to say is uh, FTR got baited into a match with uh, the bald one mm. taking on Jack Perry. So that happened. That was well. a good segment. I like that one in the back. Yeah, though. it was I really good. That. That was done well. Like you said, it wasn't in the ring. Mm -hmm. It was. It felt real. It, everything that they barked back and forth was exactly how fights happen in a bar. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's yep. this, oh, yeah, you're tough. No, I'm tough. No, you're tough. No, I'm tough. Watch. Oh, 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 you want to prove it? Oh, you're okay. Right? Like, yeah. And somebody's kind of like, no, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, that was really well uh, done really well. The, the Darby Allen thing, I, I want to hit on that again. That was so – how they set that up and then – when Taz is just like balls in your court what do you got and then we're just silent staring at each other guys like we couldn't write something a little better than that and then his response didn't make any sense either like careful what you wish for you just might get he didn't wish for anything he asked for you to say something like he yeah. asked for you to make a declaration and you said careful what you wish for like <sighs> yeah this know. is I don't know what to make of that th this is a feud that feels like it's going on too long and then maybe on paper it felt like it got a, a, a bit of a refresh with the addition of sting but with sting's limitations it feels like now we're just dragging our feet and you have too many guys in team taz that are just sitting there twiddling their thumbs i need to see ricky starks in a match or a feud i need to see ricky St why isn't team taz taking on the inner circle that could be something right like i just need those guys doing more than running away from an old man with a bat and a weird kid that yeah. paints his face inner circle is a face which i mean they kind of half are they're, they're kind of that john cena role for some aspects you know mm -hmm. um why aren't they taking on team taz yeah you know, why isn't it team taz versus inner circle yeah going for something here uh as we were talking about, and one other thing that I miss, because, you know, sometimes I miss things. That happens. It's our podcast, not yours. You're welcome. Uh, Kenny Omega, after he saw Don Callis with his busted up face, uh, got pissed off, went backstage, beat up Pentagon. And the Good Brothers and him took out uh, Pentagon. So now we're going to get a six-man tag of Pac, Ray Phoenix, and... And God dang, John Moxley, that's an insane team, mm -hmm. taking on Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers. That's a hell of a match. I'm yeah. excited for that. I forget that match when is they go hard. I forget when they said it might be in two weeks. Might be that's that beach, beach break or bag. whatever they're calling. Yeah, it. yeah. I think that's maybe where it's taking place. Maybe the main event for that show. Uh, that is going to be crazy the oh talent that's when they're going that? to miami they're going to miami for a little bit right yeah yeah but that's gonna be whoo yeah it's a big john show. moxley and Pac together with ray phoenix who can do every cartwheel and backflip you can ask and then taking on talents like kenny omega and the good brothers ah i'm all about it but like i mentioned next week is the match to oh hangman adam page i want to get on a fucking horse right now i tell you what next week we're gonna get uh the dark order taking on 
the Good Brothers and the Young Bucks. Something's going to happen and Hangman's going to come out looking like a fucking stud. Mm. A.W. Still kicking it. Hangman. So uh, before we wrap up, I do want to give our weekly poll as I try to find it here. This actually had some interesting... Uh, results. I don't know if you got to see this on our Twitter page. It's at mm. Table Show if you'd like to participate mm. or follow along with our live tweets. Mm. Uh, but the question was, what grade would you give tonight's AEW Dynamite? Mm. With 0% was A. With 33% was B. With 27% was C. And the winner for this poll, for this week's mm. AEW Dynamite, was D with 40%. I don't know if I'd go that hard, but it definitely was a filler episode. Yeah. Well, and so, I mean, if you're grading on a curve, this would be the one you drop off at of the bottom. Uh, I feel like this has probably been one of the episodes that I would stick out as, like, if you had to rank them, this was probably mm-hmm. the one that was the worst. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, you know, there was good stuff in it. Not terrible. Yeah, I don't know that I would give it a D. Uh, um, you know, it was average or below average in my, you know, of like pro wrestling. Mm. But their I mean? bar is so high. If you yeah, apply this to SmackDown, this is an A or no, maybe not yeah, that much. But it's Smackdown's a Smackdown's been, you know? been the better WWE show as of late. Yeah, but I'm in, just saying a two hour show. Lines. Yeah, I'm just saying yeah. a two hour show mm-hmm. uh, applied to WWE. Yep. I even think it was better than NXT, even though they had that pit fight with uh, Tommaso Ciampa oh, and yeah, Timothy Thatcher. Mm-hmm. Uh, I. I thought the the big takeaway for me was the heel turn from Private Party, and then again that Nick Camarado. I want to see Nick Camarado. Hey, there you go. Let's start doing some uh, new faction. Put Nick Camarado and Layla Hirsch if she's not going to join Team Taz. Put those two super freak athletes together and just have them run through the whole division on whatever they want to do. 